I've had the opportunity to lead the Ash Choosing Wisely initiative since its inception, so since 2012, uh, when we released our first list. We changed our focus with this year's Choosing Wisely annual meeting session and chose to use this as an opportunity to highlight great implementation efforts. And first of all, to honour people doing great work, um, to identify three Choosing Wisely champions, but more importantly, not only to honour, but to showcase, to show people how can you start tackling these really challenging issues. And um, I hope maybe to inspire people to try and do the same thing. And it's a great group of people. It's people who are really motivated to try and change things for the better. When we were looking at potential quality initiatives in the hematology oncology field, I mentioned choosing wisely. And I thought that it would be a very reasonable thing to look at to, to see which of those recommendations we could implement in practice. It helps us to remind us of some basic um, items that uh, we should perform or not to perform when we face patients on a day-to-day -day basis. In the Ash Choosing Wisely campaign, we've always been very careful to talk quite openly about the principles that guide our initiative. And the first and foremost principle is always harm reduction. And we focused on that because we think that that's what's most important to patients. There's a few different ways that Ash can help to move the field forward in terms of developing um, true change strategies, true change in overutilization in, in hematology. Uh, one is to continue to raise awareness of the issue, and by having a Choosing Wisely session every year, that's one of the ways that we do that. Um, but I think we also really want to help the profession understand that uh, education alone and awareness alone is not enough, and that often it takes change strategies and true implementation projects to move the field forward. To that end, there's resources that are made available on the web to try and help people implement um, these projects at their own home institutions or, or adaptations of these, these projects as might be appropriate for their home institutions. Many clinicians, they are aware in our centre about choosing wisely by different societies and we have seen significant improvement in testing, using treatments or other modalities in practice. We are certainly hoping to inspire similar initiatives at other centres and just generally to inspire interest in this topic and an awareness that there's, this is doable. This is actually something that we can tackle and that haematologists are really in an ideal place to do that.